I wanted to show you some of the ways that you can customize um, my newer PLR blog designs. These ones are really cool because they have a ton of different widgets that will allow you to very easily make your blog look unique and different from everyone else's. Now, the first thing actually I want to show you is the, um, the header here. It's not a graphical header, so whatever you type in um, in WordPress for your blog name and the uh, description line is what's going to be displayed here. So you don't have to fiddle around with graphics anymore to make the title up on here match with your blog, which is really cool. Now, the other thing is I, I want to show you all these widget areas. There's um, two up on the top where right now I have these videos. And of course you have um, sidebar widgets just like every other blog has. And then on the bottom you've got two more widgets and there's also four footer widgets. They're not shown right now on this blog, but if you implement them, you could have four different footer widgets down here. Now let me show you the widgets area. Um, you know, you want to go on your blog to appearance widgets and you'll see them all over here on the sidebar. You've got, um, this is your primary widget area is the sidebar widgets. And if there's two sidebars on the blog, some of them will have two sidebars. The secondary widget area would be your other sidebar. Now you've got the first top widget area, second top widget area, those are the two on the top. First bottom and second bottom are the two on the bottom. And then you've got your four footers. So what you need to do um, when you're setting up your blog is you want to make sure you look in all these widget areas and you want to make sure that you, if there's um, an ad banner or AdSense, like right here on this blog I have AdSense here, and down here is a banner for a ClickBank product, you want to make sure you look through them all and make sure that you get those affiliate uh, IDs changed. So going back over here to the customization, now um, another cool thing about these widgets is they'll automatically um, size to the length of the screen, so if you only put one widget in, it'll be a double wide widget. So for example, let's say we wanted to take this top area and instead of having these two videos, we want to put maybe an AdSense banner. So I'm going to go into the um, first top widget area. Right now I have the a text widget in there with the video and I'm going to put in a AdSense banner. This is a 728 by 90 banner, and I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to put in, uh, I'm going to take the second one and I'm going to get rid of the text widget because I want the banner to take up the whole top. So I'm going to just delete that. And then when we go over here and we refresh the screen, Now instead of, um, the, you know, we have the AdSense up there instead, now you can put anything here. You could put a big banner for a CPA product or, you know what, if you don't want to have it, you could just not even have those widgets there and you could have nothing. Um, so it allows your blog to have a different look from anyone else's. And then you can do the same thing with these two on the bottom. You, if you want to just have one, you can uh, just delete the one and it'll be, you know, twice as long. And I've also included a few cool... Uh, widget plugins here for you to use. The, um, let's see, oh, the Tweet Blender will uh, put tweets, it will search Twitter for tweets, and it will put that up on, uh, in one of the widgets. So the way you use that is, let's put that in here instead, I'm gonna do, uh, this one, hashtags. And I'm going to search for, use this pound thing as a hashtag, uh, since this is a mobile marketing blog, I'll search for that. You can pick how many tweets to show. You can put a view more link. I'm going to save it. Now when we go here, you'll see we have the Twitter up on top there. And there's also the um, AdSense one is there. You can layer them just like on the sidebar. You can put them in one on top of the other if you want. Now um, the bottom ones, these footer ones are kind of cool. You've seen them a lot on blogs where they ha might have like, uh, 
maybe the latest comments and um, links to like the privacy policy. And um, I'll just put in some text widgets so you can kind of see. Oh yeah, and I, I forgot to mention one of the other um, plugins I have is the category posts right here. So if you want to include a link to um, posts in only a certain category, you can put this widget in. I'll put this in the footer area and we'll pick articles and let's say two. You can choose all kinds of options here. Now when we look at this blog, you'll see down here, this is footer one, the text I typed in, and then the articles, um, I guess I only picked two, are showing up. And so if you had the four, it would look better, but since there's only two, it centers it and makes it as wide as this whole area. So that's it. You can see there's a ton of different things you can do to customize your blog and make it different from anyone else's. Oh, and one last thing, um, for the menu up here, you can use the WordPress um, menus under here. If you create a custom menu, like on this one, I have the primary menu. I've created it. I don't, if you're familiar with this, you know how to use it. But if not, you basically can go in and you can choose from pages, categories. You can even put in a custom link if you wanted to link like directly to a ClickBank product up there. And you pull them all over here and then you save the menu. Save it as, you can call it whatever you want. I called it primary. And then you, what you want to do is choose that here. And then you can go into your theme options. And under navigation menu, um, you actually don't need to pick anything because by default, it'll choose the primary menu. Now, if you didn't have that set, you could choose some of these options here. And um, also, if you wanted to put in a graphical header, you can uncheck show headline and show slogan, and it won't show what you have in your settings, your WordPress settings. And there's some other um, options in here that you can choose to make some other customizations to your blog. The um, widgets can be in different styles. You can play around with that to see how much you like those. You can put whatever you want in the footer. And these advertisements, you can put different banner ads or AdSense, whatever you want in here. And then you want to put this ad code, it's called a short code, in your post or widget and it will show up there. So that's pretty much it. Highly customizable, um, very easy to use. One thing you want to look out for when you're putting these widgets in, make sure you're using the right size for your banners and your AdSense. If you make one, this, if the size is too large for that particular area, it could screw up the look of your blog. So if you put something in and your blog looks funky afterwards, that's the first thing to check. And uh, that's about it. So good luck, have fun with your blog, and make a ton of money.